Welcome to the Garden of Eden. We are thrilled to be hosting Epic Handmade Pies, sponsored by Epic Handmade Knives. And we have got this beautiful earthen oven here. And this is what we are going to be cooking, these Epic Handmade Pies. So I wanted to do a little video, one, as a promotion for this epic event, and two, just as a little bit of education on how to use a earthen oven. So basically the concept here is that we have an earthen oven which is fireproof. It's made of clay, bricks, sand, and it's super insulated. So what happens is we're gonna start a fire inside of here and it's going to create a hot radiant mass and then we are going to put the pies in and then the heat is going to radiate uh, the whole thing will be holding the heat so it'll be radiating you know all you know heat from all degrees from all angles of the of the oven so we're not actually going to have a flame in the oven when we put the pies in because you'll have a uh, a spot that's much hotter so you'll be likely to burn it on the bottom what we do is we light a fire in here and then we pull the fire out or let the fire go out and we have a radiant mass and then you have an even distribution of heat which is really great for cooking. So if you know how to build it properly, if you know how to start it and, and run it properly, these work basically as good as a convection oven. So what we're gonna do here first uh, is start this fire. And I am a fire master. I could start fire, you know, rubbing some sticks. Uh, but realistically, it's a lot harder and this is way easier. These are all free, super sustainable, harvested materials. So paper really is the best. And all I'm going to do is take some paper, crumble it up, uh, put it in there as the, as the base. And you want to crumble it so that um, it's not too tightly, too tightly crumbled, but it's uh, not also flat either. And I'm going to use this just as like a little mash as a fire starter. Then I'm going to take something sort of like this. Uh, these are actually herb, herb stems and whatnot that we've harvested seeds and herbs from. But this is a really nice second layer uh, to the paper. And I'm just going to put that right on top of the paper. And then I've got some slightly bigger sticks here with some leaves on them. And this is going to be the third layer. And, you know, the more layers you have, the more preparation you take in the starting of your fire, the easier and faster it's going to be. I see people that, you know, try to start fires and, you know, they go out or they try to start them and they're blowing on them, trying to get them going. You just take a little bit of time harvesting the right materials, setting them up in the proper way, and it's really easy. So I've got those three base layers on there, and then I've got some bigger, some bigger sticks here and then some bigger logs here. Uh, the longer you're going to cook something, you know, say you were wanting to do some sort of a roast you would need to get a hotter radiant mass. If you're trying to do pizzas, a lot of times you need the ovens up to 500 degrees, you need a hotter radiant mass. So what that means is you need to burn a bigger, longer fire. If you're doing something that doesn't take very long and it's only gonna be a 15 minute cook, you can do a smaller and shorter fire because you don't need as much radiant mass to be able to cook for an hour or two hours or more. So what I've got here is my layers. I'm going to use this as a match. And start it up. Just like so. And you see how easy that's taken off. And you got to take advantage of the flame while you have it because the paper and those small sticks are going to burn real quick. So you want to put these on not so fast to smother it while also leaving enough air. As you can see, I'm staggering them so you get the airflow. Airflow is key. The vast majority of flame is actually oxygen. So oxygen is the key fuel here for this, for this fire. So it's roaring real hard right now. It's gonna die down uh, pretty quick because that's some real fast burning stuff. So what we're hoping is, is that these bigger logs are gonna catch on fire enough 
with that initial burn in order to uh, get some real coals going so that I can put these on. So it's going to realistically take a few more minutes before I can put these big guys on. So we'll uh, cut the video here. But essentially what we're going to do is burn a fire in here for 45 minutes to an hour, get a hot radiant mass, and then we can either pull the coals out or leave some of the coals in depending on how you're wanting to cook. I'll put this grate in there. I'll put the door on or we'll slide the pies in and we'll put the door on and then you know shouldn't take more than 15 15 minutes for those pies to be ready to eat. Stay tuned. Bless.